Hi everyone, how's it going? Thanks for joining us today. My name is Austin Lau and I'm an agency media planner here at Google. I'm here today to chat about advertising on YouTube. I know this is a really exciting space just because there's a lot going on with the product. Um, it's also a little bit challenging just because, again, there is so much going on that the creative and also the inventory available can be kind of confusing at times. But hopefully after today's presentation, you'll have a better sense of kind of what the options and available availability is on YouTube.com. So here's basically the seven options for targeting YouTube at scale. Of course, feel free to pause and jot down any notes or um, that you think would be useful for you in implementing your campaigns. Um, pretty self-explanatory here. The farthest left column shows what kind of inventory you would be interested in targeting. And then the, the middle column and the end column, campaign settings and keywords or placement, just the corresponding um, settings that you would use to target those those areas. So I just go down the list really quickly. Of course, you can target search results and that's keyword keyword targeted. Um, within YouTube, there's search, watch, and browse pages that can be targeted. There's in-video ads over, over actual videos. And then number five, six, and seven, I'll deal with a content network. So I'd say by and large, most successful YouTube campaigns that I've seen also integrate, have an integrated campaign with the Google Content Network, um, specifically promoted videos, which are not only show on YouTube, but also show within the Content Network. So without further ado, we'll just jump right into my browser, actually, and go through some of this stuff. So this is your, of course, YouTube homepage. Um, you got your promoted video right here in the, on the top right. Um, sometimes you have a homepage spot, but today it doesn't look like there is one. Um, the watch pages that I was talking about, if you're, or sorry, the browse pages, if you're just browsing content, like like this page, for example, um, you'll see this ad over here, another promoted video, and you can go a little bit deeper, and there are frequently ads um, throughout these browse pages. There's no, another promoted video down here. So this is a search page. Again, keyword triggered ads. Um, here you see text ads. Frequently you'll see promoted video ads as well. Um, it just varies by, by the query that you're searching for in YouTube. Uh, I think everyone knows this page pretty well in terms of what you're seeing in the, the organic video results here. Here's an example of a watch page and we'll actually play into this one. Um, you see the little yellow bar down here and that's when the video overlay. So there we go, getboards.com ski shop. Um, and to the right is the companion ad, which this is an image ad that, um, that you can target um, specific watch pages actually. So I'll go over two of the tools that we like to use. Um, the first one is the YouTube keyword tool. So again, this should look pretty familiar. Let me actually just do a quick one for ski movies. Uh, it's not quite as robust as the AdWords keyword tool, but this is specific to YouTube.com and can give you um, good information about the queries related to keywords that you might consider using. So you can look at the month monthly search volume and then add them like you would have in the, in the AdWords keyword tool directly into your account. The other tool that I wanted to show you today is the YouTube video targeting tool. This actually just released not even not even a week ago, um, but it's really great just because it allows you to target specific watch pages or specific video pages. What you can do is what I, I just search for keywords and put in ski movie. Close that back up. And it'll allow you to actually look at specific movies that you can target um, directly. So this lost and found ski video, um, only 18 impressions a day, so not a huge, not huge in terms of the traffic. Um, but let's say I liked that. That looks like something I want to advertise on. You know, wipeouts, level two, we'll keep going. Seventh Heaven, Keanu Reeves in a Chile, not not quite what I'm looking for. Um, so these all tend to these all have pretty low impression counts. Um, but depending on what you're looking for, that can actually work out pretty well. So you can go through this. Um, you can see there's lots of lots of videos on here, and it, again, it shows you a little uh, kind of it pops up and shows you a, a preview of the video. And then what you do is you have it in your media plan, and if you click go to media plan, it'll actually um, allow you to export it and put it into your AdWords account. Another thing that you can do is search by audience. So if you're looking for more generic stuff, you know, entertainment videos, and you have a specific age range, age range, excuse me, um, and even by gender, you can search um, search there. So let's just do this real quickly and search. And so yeah, this is this is again is, is the results, and you can kind of look at at what what's coming back. Um, so that's basically it um, in terms of the way we approach targeting YouTube. I um, hope this was helpful for you, and hope you have fun targeting YouTube.